Hi, and welcome back to another segment of Terminating Low Voltage Cables. I'm Ron with Ideal, and in this segment, we're going to briefly tell you the basic do's and don'ts, what I consider the one-on-one -on -one of cable TV splitters and what to look for. Well, first of all, uh, you got to understand that splitters have been around for a very long time, and some of them date back a number of years, and these older style splitters, and you can't tell by color, you cannot tell by looking at the outside of the splitter, uh, really. Um, well, uh, if you take the look at the back of these splitters and you see what's inside of them, these little black little ferrite things hanging in there are called ferrite cores, and they do the splitting of the signal for us. These splitters were really designed probably back in like the 50s or 60s. Good really when everything was analog only. Won't really uh, pass digital channels very good, so there's one strike against them. Plus, these are not... Uh, uh, bi-directional as well and today in a cable TV system signals must pass both ways through the devices so your set top uh, mo uh, box and your modem and things like that work properly. So we really don't recommend these and one other uh, little hint that I would look at when I buy splitters is look right on the face of the splitter there'll be some printing it'll be it'll give you a frequency range on the face of the splitter in this case it says 5 to 900 megahertz in frequency. Anything under 1000 megahertz is no longer really considered um, good so and not recommended so these actually cause problems don't buy them. Uh, we do want to buy uh, digital capable splitters that are analog and digital and that's what this one is. Uh, this is also bi-directional and it is rated out to a frequency range of up to one gigahertz in frequency which is actually a thousand megahertz. These are industry compliant splitters. Uh, if you peel the backs of them open you'll pr find printed circuit boards in them that actually does the splitting of the signal for us. Um, and is our, our, our uh, do work with cable TV signals today. We also have uh, splitters that go a little higher in frequencies up into the 2 to 3 gigahertz frequency range. This one here says 2.3 gigahertz in frequency, which is getting up into the area where satellites are operating within the home. And if you are going to attempt to split a satellite signal, you would need something like this, although uh, I would tell you to actually check with your satellite provider before you actually try that. Uh, some systems that may not work. And then uh, lastly, we have today's surge protected splitters you'll find in the stores. And the surge protection gives us that extra layer of surge protection in that cable TV system. And those are the, the basic splitters. And you want to make sure you can get at least a 1 gigahertz uh, digital and analog bidirectional type splitter. And thanks again for coming to another segment of uh, Terminal Low Voltage Cables. I'm Ron with Ideal.